Tito! Tito! Tito, are you ready to risk it all? Tito, are you ready to risk everything we've built on this channel? For some NFL memes? Cause you better believe that I am. I'm just gonna be the first to admit, I do not know ball. I think I know ball every year, and then Tom Brady loses to the Panthers. And all of a sudden, I don't know ball. One thing remains true though, the Lions are still a poverty franchise, so at least we know something. Uh, I'm gonna be going through Ghetto Gronk, the greatest meme page that exists. I used to have you guys submit memes, but all you guys were doing was stealing from Ghetto Gronk and sending them to me, so I'm going direct to the source. Show this guy some love. Baker Mayfield after getting another star player traded. It's not Baker's fault that the Panthers are poverty. He's just part of it. Although PJ Walker looked pretty good. I'm definitely excited to have a white running back. I was getting a... <laughs> Yikes! White man runs a football. <laughs> Damn it. Christian McCaffrey on his flight to San Francisco. Bro, McCaffrey? Okay. The McCaffrey gets injured a few times. Everybody freaks out. The guy was bulletproof for a while. He's played 85% of his snaps this year. Whatever. Robbie and CMC getting traded. DJ Moore. Bro, it's got to be tough for DJ Moore. DJ Moore is a stud. His production has fallen off a cliff. <laughs> CMC leaving Carolina. Bro, did you guys see this? That's Boswell supposedly was saying to the Steelers offensive coordinator that the win wasn't because of him. That shit's crazy. <laughs> Damn, those big ticket items go up front. That's what draws people in. You really think people are going to buy these? Of course. <laughs> these are my shoulder pads? They could be. Make me an offer. <laughs> Yo, that edit's so good. Oh no, hey, Tom Brady, you might be the GOAT, but you're not safe from catching a couple strays, all right? It's been a tough year for Brady and the Bucks. Is Al at AB's house watching Brady lose? Dude, 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 listen though. I literally watched Mike Evans, Mike Evans, drop a Ooh. wide open pass. Literally no, dude. It feels like the NFL is very rigged this year. It's what? always felt rigged to me, but this year more than any, I feel like the gambling companies really got their mitts right up Goodell's ass, bro. Tom Brady's kids playing Madden just to spend time with their dad, bro. He's not even that good in Madden either, so. Hey, hey, Monica, what's up, baby? What's your problem, nigga? You didn't win. <laughs> Ty Bowles is becoming head coach of the Buccaneers. Bishop Sycamore, baby. Byron, we're losing 21-3 to the Panthers. Let's go. We got a two-yard run. Dude, I've been saying it all season the Panthers are the worst team in the league, but once again, I just don't know ball, I guess. He's going to he's gonna need to earn that McDonald's paycheck. I don't know if I'd even hire him, hire him there. Yeah, like, what is it? Why are the why does Tom Brady look so bad this year? Like, it's, it's just hard to figure it out. Ty Bowles and Byron left with brains. <laughs> Dude, this was so crazy. The Browns got called for a false start. Nobody moved. We were at this game, too. Me and Chase were at this game. Nobody in the Browns moved, but we don't give a shit. False start. Five-yard penalty. Ravens win. Tavansky to the refs after the Browns-Ravens game. Go get him. Dude, that ref got out of there. Holy shit, he got out of there. Lamar isn't a running back. Literally pitched the ball to him. That's stiff arm. Oh, my God. Nick Chubb on the Browns. Bro, both the running backs. Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt on the Browns, bro. Sean Watson in the locker room while the Browns are losing 23 to 20. Bro. <laughs> Fuck! I'm gonna get taken down, bro. You guys wonder why my last, like, 10 videos all had a sponsor on them, bro? Because I post shit like this, bro. I'm keeping it in the video. Zach Wilson during the Jets' 5-2 and two start. Ooh. Hold out. Yeah, they have been so good, and I love Zach Wilson. You know, it's Cougar season, but he really hasn't done much of it. Ooh, by the way, one of the huge reasons I'm making this video. I love doing the NFL meme stuff. I think it's so much fun. But I post so much on this channel all the time. And I'd love to do more of this style of content. And I know you guys like it. Which is why I made a brand new channel just for content like this video. It's going to be me, Chase, L, literally any of my friends or YouTubers that come over. And we're just going to react to crazy stuff like this and anything else you guys like. That channel is called Meegs.
I plan to post three or four days a week on it. It should be a blast. So if you love this video, check that channel out. It'll be pinned in the description. Maybe just go there, subscribe right now, come right back to this video, and you can be one of the first 1,000 subscribers to what I hope will become a legendary channel. Elijah Moore. Should have played Elijah Moore today and thrown in 15 targets. Zach Wilson barely beat the Broncos backup QB. Bro, apparently, Elijah Moore had a burner account and was basically doing what Durant was doing. I know it sounds stupid, when I just say that, but take a look at this account. I think he has it posted here. Look at the kind of shit he was saying. Might be worth listening to a guy who's been in this business, but what do I know? Okay, his account is called David Steiny. It's, it's Michael Jordan. Literally every single tweet and reply is just about Elijah Moore. So if it's not Elijah Moore, it better be his brother or something. Elijah Moore is pouting. He's trying to overturn the ship in hopes that he gets his point across. Crazy how when players want their worth to be recognized, they get talked about like this. Y'all for real have no fucking clue what's going on and you just run with a story. The implication is whoever's running this Twitter account does know the real story, you'd kind of have to be Elijah Moore to know the real story. If this isn't fucking Elijah Moore, I don't know who it is. Elijah Moore watching Brees Hall and Corey Davis get hurt knowing it means he'll get more targets. Me offering my ACL to Brees Hall. Jesus. Let's ride. Let's ride. Let's ride. Let's ride. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Brett Ripien really played exactly like Russell Wilson, but for 244 million less. That's, about, that's true. It's true. Zach Wilson getting ready to go to Elijah Moore's mother's house to smooth oh. over the situation. Kenny Pickett in the clutch. Tough. Kenny, dude, Kenny Pickett's a rookie. Give him some credit. And all those interceptions he threw, because I was at that game, he had to throw it. It's like fourth and 18. Trubisky throwing two interceptions in five games versus Kenny Pickett throwing three interceptions. Broke ass. Strong and independent. Can we just talk about how in my video yesterday, three NFL games in 12 hours, I perfectly predicted all the winners and the fact that Kenny Pickett would throw exactly three. We don't care. Let me tell, all right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Kenny Pickett chokes away the game. I don't know. For a rookie, I, I actually disagree, Ghetto Grunk. For a rookie, I feel like Kenny Pickett's playing pretty damn good. Stand up now and face the sun. Dude, I fucking love this Pat Bev clip. My favorites. You just lost the Kenny Pickett. Psych! <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. That's fucking horrifying, bro. The Steelers defense really dropped four two interceptions. That's so true. Oh my god. I think the Steelers should have won this game. They played better. This is so sad though. How do you miss that? Bro, you can never bitch again though when your Madden player, like on defense, drops an interception because for some reason defensive NFL players are actually horrible at catching the ball. Get shit on. Oh, I love that video, bro. I hate kids so much. I hate them. This made me so happy. Najee Harris. Oh, come on. Because I like it. Order. I love it. I'm I'm, I'm just itching. I'm, I'm, I'm itching to do it again. And you think what you think. I took the Jimmy G when he feels the slightest amount of pressure. Wait, isn't that Bengal? Isn't this Bengal? Isn't this clip fucking Bengal? <laughs> Jimmy G's brain needs to be studied by science after he retires. Ooh, that's mega sauce. I don't know though, in this specific scenario, you know, he threw it up and threw the INT, so now he's thinking, ah, I can't throw it up again. I don't know. I swear to God, nobody gets shit on more by Gretel Gronk than Jimmy G. I don't know if it's deserved. The guy's so handsome. I feel like Jimmy G's a great punching bag though. He's so fucking handsome that like, I don't care. You know, I don't feel bad for him. He makes millions, he's so handsome. I'm gonna take every shot at Jimmy G I can. Shannon forcing Trey Lance to play next week. Get him in there! Chris McCaffrey going from Baker to Jimmy G. He didn't do nothing but step back, bro. Come on. Oh, shit. You just got zappy, baby. Psych. Mac Jones after beating the blood cell allegations. Mac Jones leaving the field after Zappy lose to the Bears. People are so delusional about backup quarterbacks. Backup quarterbacks win a game, and all people talk about is how good the backup quarterback was. Even if the backup did nothing. This was Cooper Rush, bro. You guys all talk about Cooper Rush like he was the second coming of God. He um, never did anything. They handed the ball off. The defense is insane. Same thing here, bro. Actually, I take that back a little bit. Zappy was pretty nice in a few games. But we gotta stop slurping backups just for getting a win, okay? A win is a team stat, not a QB stat. Mac Jones walking into the Colts facility for training. 
Colts just love average QBs, I guess. Belichick letting the booze rain down before putting in Zappy. Come on. Patriots fans watching Zappy versus Mac Jones. Bro, Patriots fans are just so quick to jump shit. We, they loved Mac Jones last year. I guess I can't really speak for Patriots fans. I'm, not, I'm probably the furthest from a Patriots fan. Oh my God, come on. Come on. New England Patriots. Uh... Can't watch it. Can't watch it. <laughs> All right, boys, that's it. And boys, listen, I love making this type of video. So I'm gonna make a ton more all on the Meeks channel. So please go check that channel out. Subscribe. I'm gonna post heaters just like this on there. So MMG, you'll keep seeing all the same amazing stuff you get and even more on the Meeks channel and even more on MMG Live. I'm just a content monkey. I'll clap my symbols until you stop watching. So check that channel out. I'll even put it here in the outro. But I love you guys. Thank you for the support as always. I can't wait to build something brand new. It's going to be scary. Doing new stuff is scary, but I'm excited to do it. I love you boys. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.